hello friends hope you are doing well so today's video topic is if you are facing this kind of error preparing automatic repair on your windows 10 or windows 11 in this video i will show you a complete solution so let's start the process so this is the error automatic repair your pc did not start correctly so let's start and fix this issue completely click on advanced option then click on troubleshoot click on advanced option now the first method you can try is this one startup repair so this option will help you to repair all the startup files all the boot files click on this option startup repair and this will diagnose your pc and try to fix all the startup files so you have to wait for a few minutes So after waiting for 2 or 3 minutes, I am still getting this blue screen. Startup repair. Startup repair could not repair your PC. So this option is unable to fix this issue. Now move on to our next method. If you are still getting uh, the same error, the same error like me. Click on this advanced option again. Click on troubleshoot. Click on advanced option. Now select this option, command prompt so we are going to uh, manually repair some windows uh, corrupted files with the help of this command prompt option click on it so you will get this kind of black screen so type the first command so the first command will be sfc space slash scan scan now sfc space slash scan now so this command will repair all the windows corrupted files press enter and this process will take around uh, two or three minutes to complete as you can see the verification process has been started verification process completed 100 percent now type the next command so the next command will be chk dsk space slash f space c colon so this command will repair your hard drive errors if you have any errors in your hard drive press enter and this process will take some time process completed now type exit press enter that's it now click on continue and it will fix your issue your blue screen issue and if you are still getting the same issue same error move on to our next method open this screen again then click on troubleshoot then click on advanced option so the next method you can try is this one system restore so with the help of this system restore option you can restore your system to the back date click on this option so in my system i don't have any restore point but if you have any restore point then you have a chance to restore your system to the back date move on to our next method click on troubleshoot again then click on advanced option then click on this command prompt again now type the first command boot rack space slash fix mbr press enter now type the next command boot sect space slash nt60 space sys press enter now type the next command boot rack space slash fix boot press enter now type the next command boot rack space slash rebuild bcd press enter wait for few seconds if you get this kind of option click yes type yes press enter that's it now type the final command sfc space slash scan now press enter that's it now type exit press enter and after that click on continue and it will fix your issue now move on to our final method our last method if you are still getting the same issue 
you tried everything but still getting the same issue click on troubleshoot so the final method you can try is reset this pc so you have to reset your uh, pc reset your operating system click on it now you have two options keep my files or remove everything so if you select the first option keep my files all your data all your personal files in your desktop or in your other partition will remain safe in this process there will be no data loss at all but if you select the second option remove everything in that case all your personal file will be removed so go for the first one keep my files now select the second option local reinstall so this is your final method to fix this blue screen error completely reset this pc and these are the information that your windows will be go back to the default mode keep personal files so all the data in your desktop all the personal files will remain safe in this process there will be no data loss at all reinstall windows from this device the only drawback in this process is all the softwares in your system will remove this is the only drawback all the softwares will remove in this process but all the data all the files in your system will remain safe and this is the only method will fix your issue completely so simply click on reset and this process will take around uh, 10 to 30 minutes to complete and it will totally reset your pc and fix your issue so these are the some uh, troubleshooting steps you can apply to fix this uh, blue screen error completely this is all for the video thank you